I'd like to call the order of the 1,472nd meeting of the President and Board of Trustees for Majestic Park this sixth day of May 2019. Please rise for invocation given this evening by Trustee Aaron Wilson and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Trustee Joe Sipes. Our Heavenly Father, we gather to make the decisions for our community. May we use only our best skills and judgment, keeping ourselves impartial and neutral as we consider the merits and the pitfalls of each matter that is placed before us, and always act in accordance with what is best for our community and for our fellow citizens. Lord, we seek your blessings on the task before us. Bless our efforts with clear insight, our deliberations with wisdom, our work with clarity and accuracy, and our decisions with impartiality. In your name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next, we'll have the oath of office administered by Clerk Lori Mitchell. We're going to do them in order of district, so if uh, Trustee uh, Smith would join me in front, please. And I have a document for you to sign after the meeting. Okay. You raise your right hand. I, Jay Smith. I, Jay Schmidt. Having been elected to the Office of District 2 Trustee. Having been elected to the Office of District 2 Trustee. In the Village of Chesney Park. In the Village of Chesney Park. In the County of Winnebago. In the County of Winnebago. State of Illinois. State of Illinois. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the Office of Trustee. Of the Office of Trustee. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations and thank you for I'm Terry Bailey. Hi, Terry Bailey. Having been elected to the Office of District 5 Trustee. Having been elected to the Office of District 5 Trustee. In the Village of Machesney Park, Illinois. In the Village of Machesney Park, Illinois. In the County of Winnebago. In the County of Winnebago. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And then I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Trustee of the Office of Trustee to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Having been elected to the Office of District 6 Trustee. Having been elected to the Office of District 6 Trustee. In the Village of Machesney Park, Illinois. In the Village of Machesney Park, Illinois. In the County of Winnebago. In the County of Winnebago. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will support the Constitution of, of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. The Office of Trustee. And the Office of Trustee. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank you, Trustee. Thank you. Well, I can go congratulate uh, Trustee. Uh, uh, Schmidt, Trustee uh, Bailey, and Trustee Beck. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay. I'm going to take roll. Will the clerk please take roll call? Mayor Johnson. Here. Trustee Sykes. Here. Smith. Here. Kidd. Here. Wilson. Here. Bailey. Here. Beck. Here. Clerk is present. The attorney is present. We have a quorum. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the April 15th board meeting. 
So made. Second. A motion and a second. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Minutes have been approved. Next we'll have Treasurer's report uh, from Treasurer Bradley Robeson. Thank you, Your Honor. The Treasurer's report as of April 29th, 2019 reflected what the village received in motor fuel tax funds of $44,343.19 and Bill McChesney Road funds of $260,122.37. The total of all funds was $13,529,476.67. A copy of the report is available at the back of the room. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Will we entertain a motion to accept the Treasurer's report? So made. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Treasurer's report has been approved. Next, we'll have communications from Clerk Lori Mitchell. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. This evening, Mayor Johnson has a couple proclamations to present. The first one is uh, for um, Motorcycle Awareness Month, and accepting on behalf of ABATE of Illinois is Mr. Scott Sanders, and um, Trustee Beck is going to read that proclamation. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 First time. Yeah, I'll have that one there. Thank you. you. Ready? All right. Yes. Whereas, whereas safety. Oh no. Oh, whereas safety is the highest priority for the highways and streets of our village and state, and whereas the great state of Illinois is proud to be a national leader in motorcycle safety, education, and awareness. Whereas <clears throat> motorcycles are common and economical means of transportation that reduces fuel consumption and road wear and contributes to <clears throat> in significant way to relief, relief in traffic and parking congestion. And whereas <clears throat> it is especially meaningful that the citizens of the villages, village of our village and state be aware of motorcycles on the roadways and recognize the importance of motorcycle safety and whereas the members of Abate of Illinois a brotherhood aimed toward education. Continually promote motorcycle safety, education, and <clears throat> awareness of high school drivers and education programs to be the general public for the village of the state of Illinois, representing motorcycle awareness programs for over 120 <coughs> participants in Illinois in the past five years. And whereas motorcycles should jo <clears throat> motorcyclists should join a bait and of Illinois and actually promoting the safe operation of motorcycles as well as promoting motorcycle safety, education, and awareness to the citizens of the village and the state, and whereas motorcycles, <clears throat> motorcycles of Illinois contribute extensively, extensive volunteerism and money to the national and community charitable organizations, and whereas during the month of May, all roadway users should unite in safe sharing of roadways within the village of Machete Park and throughout the state's great state of Illinois. Now, therefore, on the behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Chesney Park, I, President Steve Johnson, therefore, hereby claim the, the month of May 2019 as Motorcycle Awareness Month and in, effort, in the Village of Chesney Park and urge all motorists to join in the effort to improve safety and awareness on our roadways. On behalf of Kishwaukee Valley Abate, I would like to thank uh, the mayor, village president, community leaders, and the community for recognizing Motorcycle Awareness Month with this proclamation. Motorcycle Awareness Month proclamations and the safety and education classes our organization presents to local schools are all done for one purpose, safe, enjoyable sharing of the roadways. If one life is saved because of May awareness promotions, then all the hard work is worth it. It takes a lot of time, energy, and dedication to continue with the mission of Abate. However, this area is blessed with a great chapter and excellent community support, and we're all truly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. And also this evening, in recognition of the 50th anniversary of the Municipal Clerk's Week, 
Mayor Johnson will be presenting a proclamation to <coughs> Village Clerk Lori Mitchell, and reading the proclamation is uh, Trustee Bailey. <coughs> Whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk, a time-honored and vital part of local government, exists throughout the world, and whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk is the oldest among public servants, and whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk provides a professional link between the citizens, the local governing bodies, and agencies of government at other levels, and whereas municipal clerks have pledged to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, rendering equal services to all, and whereas the municipal clerk serves as the information center on functions of local government and community, <clears throat> whereas municipal clerks continually strive to improve the administration of the affairs of the office of municipal clerk through participation in educational programs, seminars, workshops, and the annual meetings of their state and international professional organizations, and whereas it is most appropriate that we recognize the accomplishments of the office of municipal clerk now, therefore, on behalf of the Board of Trustees for the Village of McChesney Park, President Steve Johnson hereby proclaims the week of May 5th through the 11th, 2019, as Municipal Clerks Week in McChesney Park and further extends appreciation to Lori Mitchell, our Municipal Clerk, for the vital services she performs and her exemplary dedication to the Village of McChesney Park and its residents. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll have the warrants. Trustee Joe Sipes. Thank you, Your Honor. I present the warrant in the amount of $323,652.15 and move for its authorization. Second. Got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Sipes. Aye. Smith. Aye. Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Six ayes and no nays. Bills have been approved. Next on the agenda is administrative reports. Uh, first this evening, uh, I would like to um, entertain a motion to approve the appointments of the 2019 board committee assignments. So made. Second. Got a motion and a second. Will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Schmidt. Aye. Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Trustee Sykes. Aye. Six ayes and no nays. Appointments of the 2019 Board Committee assignments have been approved. They are as follows. Administrative and Finance uh, Chair, Trustee Jake Schmidt. Vice Chair is Trustee Joe Sipes and Trustee Beck. Public Improvement and Safety Chair would be Trustee Eric Beck. Trust, uh, Vice Chair is Trustee Terry Bailey and Trustee Aaron Wilson. Planning and Economic Development would be Chair Trustee Aaron Wilson. Vice Chair is Trustee James Kidd. Trustee Jake Schmidt. Liquor Commission would be, uh, li Liquor Commissioner would be Mayor Steve Johnson. Trustee Terry Bailey. Trustee Joe Sipes. Trustee James Kidd. Next, I'll entertain a motion to approve uh, the appointment of Livia Bain to the Public Improvement and Safety Committee to fill the vacancy that was opened. So made. Second. There a motion and a second. Will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Sykes. Aye. Smith. Aye. Six ayes and no nays. Point. Appointment of Olivia Bain has been approved uh, to Public Improvement and Safety Committee. Congratulations, Olivia Bain. Um, next, uh, first of all, I want to uh, like to wish uh, a belated happy birthday to our uh, uh, beloved uh, clerk, uh, Lori Mitchell. Mm -hmm. uh, on Wednesday, May 1st, I attended the 44th National Day of Prayer Leadership Luncheon featuring uh, Boston Symphony Orchestra conductor Thomas Wilkins as a keynote speaker. His speech entitled, Apparently My Song is My Story, was very inspiring. 
This annual gathering provides Rockford area residents an opportunity to come together in a spirit of community to reflect and give thanks to God for the blessings we enjoy as individuals and as a community to seek his guidance in meeting future challenges. Continuing on with the ministry reports, next would be attorney Tom Green. Thank you, Your Honor. I have no report to make. Thank you. Uh, next would be um, Village Administrator Tim Savage. Uh, no, your, no report, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, next will be Finance and Human Resource Manager Michelle Johansson. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Included with your board packet was the quarterly investment report as of April 22nd. Total interest earned over the past quarter was $55,000. Similar to the prior quarter, interest rates have continued to rise and are currently up 2.4%, up from 2.2%, sorry, 2% a few months ago. Uh, Tim and I met with Blackhawk Bank to complete an annual review of the village accounts and discuss the changes in the interest rate environment. We will be switching the interest rates on the three money market accounts to now be tied to the federal funds index rate, less 30 basis points. So if the Fed fund rate was 2.5%, the village would receive 2.2% in interest. Um, whenever the Fed, Fed funds adjust their rates, the village interest rate will also be adjusted accordingly, which avoids a month or more of late time that currently occurs. In addition, the village will be opening an Illinois funds account and transferring some excess funds to take advantage of their higher interest rates, currently at 2.45%. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next would be Community Development Director James Richter. Thank you, Honor. I don't have a report this evening. Thank you. Uh, next would be Superintendent of Public Works, Chad Hunter. Thank you. I just wanted to give a quick update on the Bauer and Victory traffic signals. Um, the contractor started the project last spring and they were able to get all the intersection and underground improvements done. Uh, they're at a point now where they're waiting for the mast arms to be delivered uh, to complete the install. Um, at no fault of the contractor or uh, uh, the engineering or county or the village, uh, we've run into some major delays uh, with Miller Burned, who is the manufacturer, uh, both in the design and in the delivery phase of that. Um, the lead time, or we were able to get those resolved last fall, late last fall, so the lead time on the, the mast arm delivery is 30 to 34 weeks. Um, we had an update on April 10th, and as of now, our delivery date is June 14th. So once those are delivered, uh, the contractor will get them uh, scheduled for install. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next will be Village Engineer, Chris Dopkins. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm pleased to advise that the Village is soliciting public bids for Burden Road improvements, which is between Forest Hills Road and um, Illinois 251 East Service Drive. Uh, those bids are due and will be opened on the 14th of May. Uh, additionally, we are soliciting public bids for the Gregory Drive improvements. Uh, those bids will open on the 16th of May. Both will be routed to uh, the Public Improvement and Safety Committee and the Board of Trustees for award on, the, on our meeting of the 20th of May. Uh, finally, I'd like to update you on the progress out at the Town Center. Um, as everybody knows, the, the block out there is being replaced by the manufacturer as part of a warranty issue. Um, unfortunately, we've run into a few rain days in the past week, and uh, that's really slowed down progress. They would have been done last Friday uh, without really any issues, uh, but they were delayed um, as a result of weather. So I think they've got one more solid day out there, and then they should be done. And when we leave that site, we are going to leave quite a bit of stone sitting on top of the, the block. The mechanism for those blocks to interlock is they actually use the small stones and they need to be seated between the blocks in order to keep the blocks move from moving around and seating themselves a little bit deeper. So just as a, a belt and suspenders approach, we are going to have um, a bunch of stones sitting on top of the pavement and traffic will integrate those stones into those voids in the block. So it's probably going to take three or four days really to kind of for that stone to, to seat itself in the block. But wanted to make everybody aware of that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Public Safety Supervisor Lieutenant Pete Del Pra. Good evening, Your Honor. No report. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Next will be community, uh, committee and trustee reports. Does any trustee have a report this evening? Trustee Sykes. Thank you, Your Honor. The Administration and Finance Committee met this evening. We have two <laughs> ordinances and one resolution going to the May 20th meeting with positive recommendations and one resolution going to tonight's meeting with a positive recommendation. Also, I'd like to uh, 
I had the opportunity to attend the opening ceremony of the Special Olympics Saturday morning and thank <coughs> Lieutenant DuPrat and the officers that took um, part of that and um, Trustee Wilson also. Uh, it's great to go out there and see the smile on them kids' faces and the excitement that they have to do this and um, it's just a fantastic thing that they do. And also I'm very proud my grandson will be going downstate in the, the bocce ball and also got a silver medal in the 50-yard dash. So it was it was just a great, beautiful day. The weather was fantastic. So thank you very much. Good report. Any other? Uh, Trustee Bailey. Thank you, Your Honor. The Planning and Economic Development Committee met this evening. We have two ordinances and one resolution that will go to the May 20th board meeting with positive recommendations. And I would also like to thank the residents in District 5 for allowing me to be your trustee for another four years. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Beck. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Speaking to two things. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the Harlem Girls track team for placing first place in conference. Uh, I know that uh, a young lady that happens to be a good friend of my grandson placed first in the shot put, by bettering anyone else by five feet. And she will now, she will now go down to state to compete. Secondly, uh, as I read tonight, the, the uh, <clears throat> motorcycle awareness. Uh, motorcycle awareness is uh, near and dear to uh, my wife and I's heart. Our son Greg, five years ago, was involved with an accident on North 2nd Street, which uh, uh, to, to this day still has pain because of that injury. So please, citizens, uh, look twice before you pull out into a main, main, any kind of intersection both ways. Uh, and, and spare a, a life. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Wilson? Oh, Your Honor, thank you. Um, just want to say thank you to all the folks who were on committees this last go around. Appreciate their leadership and serving on those committees and good luck to our next year persons who will be taking over here in the future. Um, also over the weekend, the B-17 the Flying Fortress was at the Chicago Rockford International Airport and I had an opportunity to fly on that aircraft and it was an integral wow. part in World War II. Um, there was a gentleman there who had served on those aircraft and he didn't want to really talk to anybody but I was told that he did live in either McChesney or Loves Park. And if you think about statistics <laughs> of the service members that were on these planes, 44% of them didn't make it. 6% were POWs. And he went on 18 missions. So that was incredible and I can understand why he didn't want to talk about that. And that partly is into, I won't be at the next board meeting because I'll be along with the vets role. Uh, we're gonna be heading to Washington DC on 10 buses with over 200 vets and Rosies. Um, so I'm just going to ask that everybody on the 19th, very early on a Sunday morning, if you can line Illinois 75 or I-90 as our vets roll out of town to DC for what is gonna bring them closure, gratitude to their service to our country. I'm told we've got a record number of World War II vets going this time. And if you could be Wednesday night the 22nd on our return back to the Beloit Eclipse Center. Each year, the numbers keep growing of the people that are there. It's turned into thousands. And just to show them that victory parade when they come back home and the respect uh, would be much appreciated. On that note, a former trustee, Kate Tamman, um, passed along a great idea to me. And she was visiting her son who's in the Navy. And the town that she was in has the banners that you see up here in the pictures where they recognize any active duty members or perhaps any veterans that would be in the village or city or town um, that you'd want to set up this type of program. Um, I just thought it was a, a great idea on former trustee Kate Tamman's part to bring that to our attention and I hope that maybe we can look into something like this for the village. It would look fantastic on North 2nd Street or any number of areas as you enter the village of McChesney Park. So just some food for thought. Um, you can see there how that city has a link where people can go into the program, stick their information in, and then work at getting those banners hung up. And that's my report, Your Honor. Thank you, thank you. Um, and I want to thank the trustees who attended the uh, Special Olympics Saturday. I wasn't able to attend, uh, but I do appreciate your uh, efforts. On That's very good. Thank you. Anyone else have a report? Uh, 
Uh, seeing none, the next would be consent agenda. Would the staff present all items concerned on the consent agenda? Thank you. We have item A, Ordinance 719, grants a special use permit for outdoor storage in the Light Industrial District at 1152 Turret Drive, second reading. Item B, Ordinance 919, text amendment to the Zoning Code, Article 13, Section Z59, entitled Recycling Facilities, second reading. Ordinance 1019, special use permit for recycling facility in a commercial general district at 8409 North 2nd Street, second reading. Item D, Ordinance 1119, variances from recycling facility use criteria at 8409 North 2nd Street, second reading. Item E, Ordinance 1319, zoning map amendment from residential R1 to commercial CG at 7250 Prairieville Road, second reading. Item F, Ordinance 1919, Text Amendment to the Zoning Code, Article 13, Section Z59, entitled Schools and Educational Institutions, second reading. Item G, Resolution 24R19, for a uh, driveway variance at 10472 Danica Court. Item H, Resolution 25R19, authorizes the execution of a uh, contract with Winnebago County for police services for the fiscal year 19-20. Uh, Item I, Resolution 26R19, authorizes the, bid, the bidding for the construction of a public works building and the 2019 pavement maintenance project program. Item J, Resolution 27R19, authorizes execution of a reciprocal agreement with the Illinois Department of Revenue. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Are there any items the trustee would like removed from the consent agenda that can be considered separately? Uh, trustee Kidd? I just have one quick question. With the uh, police contract, where are we are at with the committee and um, when is the committee meeting next? The, uh, the, consent doesn't, the consent agenda doesn't allow for questions. It no. has to be pulled. You, you well. voted up or down. Any, any, does anybody want anything removed or? Nope. nope. Okay. Uh, hearing none, the consent agenda has been accepted as presented. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So made. Second. Got a motion and a second. Uh, will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Schmidt. Aye. Kidd. Present. Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Sipes. Aye. Mayor Johnson. Aye. Six ayes, no nays, one present. Consent agenda has been approved. Uh, next would be unfaced business. We have none. Next would. We have. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. We're okay. Uh, next would be a new business. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance 2619 amending chapter 19 to continue municipal electric and gas utility tax. First reading. So made. Second. A motion and a second. May I have staff report please. I'll give that report. Uh, consistent with discussions from the committee, uh, as uh, directed from uh, the budget process and the uh, approval of the appropriation ordinance, this ordinance will remove the automatic termination date for electric and gas uh, utility tax. Uh, the uh, termination would then be left to future action by the village board uh, and then cleans up a couple of provisions of the code relative to making that change. Uh, we keep in place the rebate program, uh, and the ordinance also uh, provides for a mandatory report at board level by the staff for a uh, income and expense report in conjunction with the budget process each year. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Uh, hearing none, will the clerk? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Trustee Kidd? Um, I'll be voting no. Uh, there's two reasons. Number one, the Last time it was voted on, we had a huge response where I believe it was 22 were against the sales tax and one person was for um, the utility tax, as you were. Um, secondly, I think it is important that we have a sunset clause 
or a termination date um, as in the past because I believe if memory serves me correctly, many of those residents were like, well, you'll continue it anyways and you'll get rid of the sunset clause. And that's, a doing, that's exactly what the village administrator, the village president, and we as a board would be doing is going against their wishes when it was voted against or for um, six years ago or five years ago. So I'll be voting no. Trustee Sipes. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'll be voting yes because I, th I think the yearly, we bring it up yearly to see where we're at and what we're funding would be appropriate for it. Um, even in our meeting I had with, our, with my district, um, we discussed it because I told him it was coming up. And um, only one person said that uh, he would rather pay a um, tax for the city, a municipal tax, than he would pay the utility tax. But everyone else was in favor of this since it is going to our roads and the funding of that. So I would be voting yes. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Beck. Thank you, Your Honor. I was the person that put that, that uh, sunset clause in that. And, and basically, uh, at that time, that board uh, concurred with my uh, approach to it. And the reason I did that was to allow the citizens to find out what benefit that tax was actually going to, you know, for the fruition of that tax. And, and that's seen now. So I think uh, I concur with Joe there with, a, with an annual review by this board at, during the budget process. I think we're safe and I'll be voting yes. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comment? Hearing uh, none, uh, will the clerk please take roll call? Trusty Kidd. No. Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Sipes. Aye. Smith. Aye. Mayor Johnson. Aye. Six ayes, one nay, no absent. Ordinance 2619 has passed for first reading. Uh, next will be public comment. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the board for the good of the village? Seeing none, next would be adjournment. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So made. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Right. Motion carries. We are adjourned.